We are in Hong Kong, the headquarters of Prode, the open hardware shape shifting selling robot. My name is Cesar Harada. I'm a young, foolish inventor. <laughs> in my world, <laughs> the technical and the creative have never been separated. My father is of Shinto tradition, who we believe in nature as God. And we also see technology as living things, as God too. I got into MIT because of my background into environmental data. I was working in Shahidi to map the oil spill as it was happening. What didn't make sense is using hundreds of human beings to go with mops in the middle of the ocean and clean it up. So I started to investigate how we could use the natural forces to clean up the oil spill. This is an oil super solvent. It absorbs 20 times its own weight. If that's the boat, the sail is like this, and the center board is here, and the rudder is at the back, if I pull something behind long and heavy, it doesn't really work. So I thought, what about if I put the center board almost where the rudder is and consider the whole thing, so not only the boat, but what I drive behind as the boat. And if I put the rudder at the front, so like this, whenever I turn, actually it's just like a, like a car, the steering wheel will be at the front. So I made this first boat with front steering for pulling something long and heavy, and I was surprised that it really worked so well. I thought, what about instead of having only one rudder, I had multiple of them, just like a four-wheel drive car, it worked much better. And I was starting to really feel carried away, and I thought, what about if I don't have different center board and different rudders, but what if, what if the whole boat changes shape? With the normal boat, you have to get your angle right. But with this one, it's so organic. The way you're sailing, it's just almost like you're feeling like you're surfing. And it was a revelation. I was just like, that's so stupidly simple, and it worked so amazingly. You all right? That's why I need shoes. <laughs> I was actually homeless in London for six months while developing this project. I can never forget minus 10 degrees and I'm literally sleeping outside on the rooftop. There's a moment where you're feeling that you're doing something that may be bigger than yourself and that the pain you're enduring is so little compared to the things that you're working on that it doesn't seem to be even noticeable. I don't really like those connectors, so I'm just gonna cut this. If we want to resolve the environmental problems that we've created, I believe that open source, and especially open hardware, is gonna be a big part of that. Open source means that somebody is gonna take the technology and make a variation, and suddenly you're not alone, and then you start to be nourished by other people's projects. <laughs> with open source, opening everything, and then to challenge people to use the same codes, the same material, but to do things better. The crazy person to me is the person who doesn't take risks, who denies their own capacity to influence the change in the world. By joining this hackathon today, I'm killing um, two stones, uh, two, two birds in one stone. To get involved, is the most important to get involved, to get myself wet. I'm not in a rush to sell thousands of these boats. I'm not in a rush at all because I really believe this technology is very meaningful. It's coming from a place inside of me that's truly caring for the environment. What I'm trying to do is create this community of people that believe in what you're doing. Even if I was going to be homeless again, I'll keep working on this.